Honda built a combustion engine, the JNC1, specifically for the NSX because it realized that any of its existing engines just wouldn't do justice to the experience. In doing so, they created a twin turbocharged V6 that puts out 500 horsepower at about 7,000 RPM and powers the rear wheels. 406 pound-feet of torque is available between 2,000 RPM and 6,000 RPM. Honda built the V-angle at 75 degrees, which is a bit uncommon. However, the 75 degree angle avoids the vibrations that come with a 60 degree angle, as well as the height that comes with a 90 degree angle, allowing the engine to stay quiet and sit low. Fuel enters the aluminum alloy block by both direct injection and port injection, optimizing performance at all speeds, and hydraulic valve timing appears on both intake and exhaust systems. Those cylinders have plasma transferred wire arc thermal spray on the bore lining, which improves heat transfer. And the single scroll twin turbochargers, which provide boost up to 15.23 PSI, are mounted on either side of the engine. All of that is awesome on its own. And then Honda added in the electric motors. According to Ted Klaus, who was the global development leader for the NSX, one of the most difficult parts of the project was to get the traditional and electric motors to work harmoniously. Well, <laughs> whatever tests and trials and tribulations the team went through, it paid off. There are three electric motors. Two, which can act independently, power the front wheels, while the third motor drives the rear wheels along with the combustion engine. Each front electric motor provides 36 horsepower and 54 pound-feet of torque, while the rear provides 47 horsepower and 109 pound-feet of torque. Altogether, the vehicle can provide 573 horsepower, with different motors providing peak horsepower at different times. While all three electric motors are permanent magnet motors, the front motors, which are called the TMU, or twin motor unit, are oil-cooled, while the rear motor, or direct drive motor, is water-cooled. In addition, because the front motors are independent, they can each send positive or negative torque to the front wheels to improve cornering speeds. This is part of the SHAWD, or Sport Hybrid All-Wheel Drive, that allows the electric motors to produce yaw when traditional all-wheel drive systems wouldn't be able to. The International Engine of the Year Awards named the JNC1 the best new engine of 2017. The award judged performance, noise, drivability, fuel economy, and smoothness, and found the JNC1 to be the clear winner. Thank you so much for watching, and tune in again soon.